should have definitely brought up a hot drink or something. It is so cold. We've basically just um, been playing around with our boiler and getting all the temperatures of the house right and this room we've not got right because i've just come in here and it's freezing anyway hello guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to a brand new video we're getting festive we are decorating i'm so excited for today's video i'm probably going to be filming it over a couple of days but kind of compiling it all together to decorate for christmas so exciting and um, before we get decorating with the tree and some other bits I'm gonna pop out this one you've already probably seen in my other videos from Cox and Cox I've had so many questions about this it's so nice um, but yeah it's their Alpine indoor outdoor you can use that outdoor I've just popped it in a little basket but yeah I thought um, we would decorate the big tree in the front room and we'll do a real tree maybe in the kitchen maybe in December so either way we're going to be decorating today I'm also going to share with you some updates in our cinema room what was our cinema room might be a gym in future but for now because we are hosting at Christmas we're talking all things Christmas today I'm going to do a bit of a room switch up in that room and I've got down there a new sofa bed which I really want to show you we've already unboxed it it's from Emma and they are very kindly working with me on today's video so thank you to Emma I have loved and used their products for ages are in fact both of our mattresses are from Emma our one is the premium one that they do I think the other one that we've got is the original they also do like a luxe cooling mattress as well they have so many products now it's not just a case of it's a website with one mattress they honestly sell so much they sell beds they sell obviously sofa bed which we have downstairs can't wait to share it with you i do um have a couple of things that have arrived as well for that room which i'll show you the whole process as we go what else do i have i wanted to mention as well that emma are doing the black friday sales where you can get huge savings up to 65 percent off but also they have very kindly given me a discount code for you guys so it's freya farrington bf i'll leave it linked um, a link to their website and the code and everything that you need to know in the description box below but that will get you an additional five percent off the black friday promotions that they're already running great time to be making the investment if you've been thinking about getting a new mattress anyway or new bed new pillows duvets they do actually loads of stuff excited to have a sofa bed in that room obviously for that extra space to host but also because it was like our cinema room type space we have the big tv and sound system down there that i think would be really fun to have like movie nights down there and want to get extra cozy we can make it into a bed and like get the dog involved and you know just have a cozy harry potter marathon just a couple of other things i really wanted to mention if it's not already selling it to you how good emma is they do a 200 night risk free trial along with a 10 year guarantee as well their deliveries are super quick hassle free assemblies just really cannot rave about them enough honestly guys um but yeah i will leave like i said link and code in the description box below i feel like we should start off in that room i'm going to give you a quick overview of how it's currently looking my plans how i'm going to decorate for christmas and um another little secret is we already put up the tree last night so we do already have the christmas tree in the living room it's just yet to be decorated so all that fun good stuff is to come so let me take you on downstairs you might be able to hear as well i'm still walking on this cling film type cover material for this staircase that we are yet to finish because that was one thing i was hoping and it might be by the time we finish this video i'm not sure or maybe in a future vlog like throughout december but i'm hoping that as soon as the um handrails and everything are painted black we can get a nice garland on the stairs but i'm also um it's taking them a bit longer because they're not just doing this staircase they also have the whole of the upstairs corridor pretty much for like snagging bits any kind of settlement cracks they're just filling and sorting out um anyway let's head on downstairs let's just show you what the cinema room is looking like we have on down here you might be able to hear it i'll turn it off for a second our dehumidifier as well just because again basement just want to make sure it's extra plus we've got our utility space in here so oh we like to keep it nice and 
damp free down here, but let me spin you around and show you what it's looking like. So as we come into the room, this is our progress and updates so far. So we've obviously had the Emma sofa bed delivered. This is the color that I went for. They do have a dark one, <clears throat> excuse me, if you prefer. I've also taken down these prints because I've got some new prints that should be arriving today. So we can switch those out and pop them back on the wall behind the sofa. So that sofa will go back to the wall, but just for the purpose of like unboxing it and getting it out to share with you guys, I thought I'd just show you what it looks like. So essentially the um, sofa, it's super easy. Let me just put this camera down and show you how easy it is. So the sofa bed is set up majority of the time as a sofa, but then to make it into the sofa bed, literally all you need to do is just wheel this bottom section out and then you can lift this up to the same level as this one to make it one big bed or you could also dress them as two separate twin beds if you've got people stopping that maybe want their own space. But obviously it's using the Emma mattress as well so it's so comfy but on top of that i have also got a bit extra you definitely don't need to do this i've ordered a mattress topper on top of that so we're not going to be having it set up as a like two separate beds we're going to have one big bed because it's going to be my brother and his fiance staying in here i'm thinking and um yeah they will have this set up as their room they've got the bathroom next door so it's kind of like their own space they've got the dog as well so i might even keep the dog bed down here for their dog although <laughs> that's a big dog bed they have a tiny dog i've got four pillows to put down here i've got the mattress topper to put on the bed i've also got the duvet from emma so i just need to get actual bedding and also like zhuzhi bits you know like nice cushions and things like that to dress the bed with but otherwise we're all set for this room. Oh, there is one other thing that I want to do. And hopefully, again, within this video, we'll manage to get it sorted. This curtain pole here, I want to pop up. We just need to, like, there's a little crack there, or a little chip of the paint that we need to just touch over. But put the pole at the top and then have linen curtains. So we'll get this set up as a bed, dress it up as a bed with the um, Emma things here. And look, I don't need any any boys' hands. It's nice and easy. I can just do it myself. I can probably see a bit better there, but you just lift it up. The leg comes out. Just make sure it's fully out. And then we're done. Simple. Look how thick that is. So for now, I think what I'm going to do is just kind of have it set up as I would when we have people stop over, but just not put bedding on until they get here maybe, just because otherwise it's quite a while off until Christmas and I like to have fresh bedding on. Rather than wash it now, I just wanna make sure that it's kind of like fresh. So yeah, I will put some bedding on proper, like bedding and sheets and everything there at the time. Oh God, I wanted to have a little sleepover down here. little comfort test as well oh my gosh it's so comfy do you know what else i'm thinking as well of having this look how big it is it's huge having this as a bed for in the height of summer when it's if ever we have those rare heat waves and i just can't sleep in it it's always really cool down in this basement. So I think it's gonna be set up as a bed more than it is a sofa. Plus, once we've got the back cushions on, look. Ready for it? Popcorn in hand, movie nights. So yeah, I will leave a link to them below. Again, just a friendly reminder that Frey Frankton BF will get you an extra 5% off their already amazing 65% off Black Friday sale. She's up. She's looking beautiful. I feel like I need to do a little bit more kind of fluffing out, but this is what our trees are looking like. So I think I'm right in saying this is from 
Balsam Hill, it's the Vermont Spruce, I think it's called, and I think it's the seven and a half foot one. The little star topper is also from Balsam Hill, and then the tree skirt that we got is from John Lewis. They do also give you a little pouch with some gloves on. I think they're in here, yeah. These little gloves for fluffing out the tree because it can get a little bit sharp, can't it? This is the tedious part. And to be honest with you, I feel like I have done the majority of it, but just a couple of little extra areas that we could just fill out a bit better, I think. What a feeling. Now it's time for Christmas And Christmas is my favorite time of year It's beginning We've got um, the Desenio prints here which I'm going to take downstairs and pop up I've also had someone in to fit the curtains down there so they are now up Managed to find like a handyman super last minute so so glad that's done now. And um, I also have just had a delivery from Hudson Home because I saw that they have some big bells, which I wanted this year. So I did pick them up. And then I also bought myself some ribbon for gifting. And if I'm honest with you, I don't like this color in person. It's more pinky than I thought it was gonna be. It's just like, I'm just looking at it here. It's in front of me, my Neptune bag my potter's pink neptune kind of color um and then i also got this which is like a you probably can't tell on camera but it's a really dark chocolate brown so i thought that would look lovely with these bells that i bought i bought two of these larger ones these cowbells here and then two slightly smaller let me get these small one out so you can see oh, i love them Oh, I just think these are fab. So to go next to each other like that with a ribbon bow and then maybe even a sprig of, I'm not sure, I might have to go get some, but a sprig of something on there as well. And then to have those hanging from our wall lights, I thought might look quite nice. And they also do these set of four. Oh no, one of the bells come out. I have to add that back in. But this is like a hanging four pack. I feel like I want to make these a little bit shorter so they're a bit closer together. More like this. And then I do have one set of bells already from Zara Home um, to go. I'm not going to be able to put these up today. I have to put these up once the paint's fully dry on our staircase. But eventually i'll pop these up so at some point you'll see them throughout the next couple of weeks but um to have these hanging at the end of this staircase so if we have a garland and then it just sits on the post at the end i thought they were lovely to show you them closer up there are real like antique brass on the jute ribbon i just love those so much oh i love them for now i'll put them to one side because today's focus is going to be on the tree. And speaking of the tree, I did also get from Hudson Home. I saw this was to get me the free delivery. I think there was like a certain amount you had to get to. And I thought, I'll just add these on to get the free delivery. Antique brass mistletoe. Oh, it's kind of like a bauble, I guess. But look. Oh, so this tree is going to be mostly champagne, gold, silvers, antique brass, glass, that kind of thing. So this could go uh, nicely on this tree, or even that one would look nice on the tree that we have in the kitchen with kind of more unique random baubles, which we'll get in December. If we can go and try and find a real one. But yeah, today's focus is mainly gonna be the tree, but before we get started and bringing up some of the baubles, um, let's go pop these Desenio prints down downstairs and show you what it's looking like down there now that the curtains are up i definitely need to judge i really want to go and get some bedding actually to be able to um set up that bed let's head on down to the basement oh, i just love it in here now that we've got the rug out and everything so let me show you the curtains so they do need a bit of a steam we'll get around to that someday <laughs> i'm not sure if it's a task for today seeing as they were focusing on 
Christmas tree decorating, but yeah, that is up. I'm thinking as well to give these blankets a good throw and make a throw, wash, but maybe even if I see a festive edition throw, put pop a festive throw on that dog bed. But yeah, this is how the sofa bed's looking. We need to pull it out slightly so I can get behind it to pop these prints in. And I'll just take these prints out so you can see what they look like. We have gone festive, just for Christmas and then I can switch them out in the new year. But they kind of, they're all different, but they all sort of complement each other really nicely. So the first one we have, oh, so festive, is a snowy, Christmas tree scene. Well, it's not Christmas tree, it's just fir trees, but snowy trees. Just takes me back to being in Finland. Honestly, guys, that was just my favorite trip. Not even of the entire year, but of, in fact, it's the only trip I took this year abroad, is it? But it's probably my favorite trip ever. But anyway, and then there's this kind of like Jeep with a Christmas tree on driving through the snow. And then a closer up version of a tree on top of a white car with some um, brown papered gift boxes and some logs in there. Just very tonal, neutral, festive, and cute. I've been busy decking the halls. I've been kind to big and small. And now it's time to have a merry holiday. What a feeling when it's time for Christmas. Let's sing a carol and we'll bring it here. Guys, I've just turned the lights off and popped on one of these ambient videos. And how cozy is this? Oh, I love it. We just need to get a nice lamp in here. And look, my prints are up. You can see the reflection of the TV in them, but oh my goodness it's so cozy i actually think a nice little floor lamp over there would be quite nice or some kind of side table maybe i feel like we can pop a little side table down there easily enough and then yeah we've just got a basket over there with some spare blankets i'm gonna move this out again switch up the bedding for the dog bed and yeah we're good to go we might even put the dog bed underneath the tv which is where it used to be and pop a little table here with the lamp on it. Some nice little kind of additional touches for when guests stay. We can pop on that little table over there. Made a little bit of an error in terms of ordering the sizing slightly wrong because you, you might be able to tell the middle one. I basically measured the gaps for each frame and but these two outer ones obviously come with a white border so I should have sized up in those but at least it's the two of them so they do kind of level each other out. But yeah, this is what the prints look like. I definitely want to keep them up all the time. I just love them that much. And then obviously this rug is new. This is from Zara Home as well as the linen curtains. For now, this is my little new setup within this room. Perfect and ready for guests for Christmas. We're in this storage room and this is what we're working with for Christmas stuff. Got these baubles here. I think to be honest with you, yeah, this is like for the main tree. Oh, look. Barney. This is so cute. And then a little photo of us all. Oh, I love that. I've got some um, like glass ones here. I could do with a bit of a sort out actually of some of these. I think these ones are, these like cushioned ones are home scents. This, another sentimental. Oh, that was Barney's paw print when he was a puppy you can get these sets that you can do like molds for kids hands and feet from B&M for four pound I think it was four pound anyway but instead of doing one for a kid's hand or foot I did Barney's paw print for his first Christmas um and then yeah we've just got a complete selection from last year in here just the odd bit of burgundy when I've done that in the past but I think I might leave the burgundy out of the main tree this year maybe pop some on the kitchen tree when i put that up but otherwise just stick with these kind of champagne golds beaded ones antique brass and yeah we'll get going oh i've got this christmas planner let me show you this unfortunately you won't be able to get it at the minute because it's from a small business called satori which is currently not open for business because she's on maternity leave but i think she is planning on reopening i keep going on about satori this one so it's the most aesthetically pleasing stationary brand i've come across 
so i bought this last year in the january sales i think it was or her closing down sales it said christmas planner so i'm going to leave this out and as soon as they were hosting this year get going with um doing a bit of planning very exciting i might pop that hamper as well in front of the tree just to hide the wire i didn't get this out this year it's almost making me think because i didn't use it will i ever use it but maybe i will in front of the fire but we weren't really quite ready for that room this year i'll keep it for now i also love that little mini tree that we've got i could even put that um the other side of the fireplace even pop some little mini baubles on there um but anyway let's Let's get cracking. Well, I'm all for Christmas. All the happy smiles and the wishes. And I want it all from the lights to the mistletoe. Tell me one thing. Is there anything that you're missing? I will keep you warm as soon as you remove that snow. Whatever we do, we will be all right. Oh, I'm out of breath just carrying that upstairs. Anyway, um, so I was thinking, there's a lot in there, but, you know, it's not looking very full. And then I discovered this hamper of so many baubles because i didn't decorate last year obviously if you were here last year then you'll remember we were right in the thick of it with the uh extension so we pretty much well we didn't we didn't have a ground floor so we were living out of like the bedroom and then we did have the basement which i put a few things out but i didn't have the tree out so i didn't decorate a tree last year so i remember it's been like two years so remembering things like my little Fortnum and Mason's decoration that I forgot I had. Well, actually, that's a lie. I didn't forget I had this one, but when I was decorating then thinking, where's the Fortnum and Mason's one? It's with all the others. But look, this cute little basket. I've got some more of these beaded ones, which were a bit like the, um, the white company. In fact, I think that one have a look at tangled yeah i was gonna say i think that one might be the white company this is the white company little love beaded and then they do similar at uh home sense tk maxx so i've got a few of each beaded stars and chunkier ones like this and then we've got some real glitzy ones a lot of them are from the range like the real bigger glitzier ones like that and then uh these ones as well these sort of glass ones are all from the range range is always a good place but then if like me you like really random one-off ones it's really pretty then uh home sense is always good a good place to have a look oh look another barney one little bell again that one will probably go on the tree in the kitchen oh i love these ones that i had from previous years both of them actually so we've got these icicle ones. I'll definitely put these on this tree. And also more glitzy icicle ones. I think the glitzy ones are my favorite. They just catch the light really, really well with from the fairy lights on the tree. So they are from the range as well. Bought those, in fact, I think I bought those in the last house, those ones, have been for ages. And these, the massive pine cones. These again, the range super glitzy they catch the light really nice so i put the bigger baubles at the bottom of the tree so they'll go on there some more like cushioned and beaded ones oh we've got some neptune ones from last year i think did i buy or maybe the year before i can't remember but this isn't neptune this is home sense i think that one for the range um did i buy some in the sale last year i can't remember let me get these ones out to show you. So we've got a couple. We've got this antique brass star, which I'll pop on this tree. And then we've got these really, really pretty set of three glass hanging drops. This is Neptune as well. I know B&M do a dupe version though um, of this little wreath. I think White Company did one as well. And then these B&M last year, um, which I never got to use because we didn't have a tree these beaded ones i think they've got these again this year i think what i might do is do like a little village scene with some houses and maybe pop our stockings on the fireplace anyway let's crack on with what we've got i will 
woke up this morning I looked outside my window Where children lighting up the Christmas tree And the snow is falling It reminds me of the good times Those winters we would spend just you and me It's been such a long time But tomorrow's Christmas Day Okay, we have the most festive room yet. This is just looking so nice. Come well to come well together come together well um so yeah i've put the hamper and the sacks there in front of the wire just to hide that we've obviously got the tree skirt the tree itself all the decorations now on and i had quite a few left over actually for the other tree so any that i don't use on the other tree i will donate this year on our mantelpiece we've got our little christmasy scene i definitely have more houses so as and when I come across those, I will um, bring them out. This one is fab because it lights up. It's $3.99 from HomeSense. The other one, which is Hobbycraft, which needs a little candle in it, um, I don't have at the moment a little tea light to pop in there, but imagine it lit up. And then we've got Tis the Season to be Jolly Sign from Sainsbury's. A couple of other little trees, and this one is also Sainsbury's. I really like this because I've got some incense cones which you pop on there and light it, blow it out, and then it comes out the chimney, which is just so festive. We've got a little reed diffuser from B&M. And then on my little chair, which was in the window, if you remember, we've moved this over to this corner, and it fits quite nicely for, for now anyway. So I've popped the festive throw over this chair with one of the cushions we already had. These are from M&S. They're like an olive green, but... It's kind of hard to tell in this light. It's getting dark already. And then I've just popped my Christmas planet here for now. When I find time, just fill that one out. But otherwise, yeah, it's looking very cosy. There's just, oh, look at the lights in the TV. Um, when Tom gets home, we'll probably light the fire because ultimate cosy vibes. We just need the fire on. I feel like right now I'm going to get a movie on here, Christmas movie, and... Get in the festive feels with maybe like Home Alone or The Holiday is always a classic for me. Love Actually. Oh, it's so exciting. I'm just looking at this mantelpiece. There's definitely a couple of little trees missing from here, I think. So, yeah, I need to go and find those. But it's coming together quite nicely. Let me know what you guys think. dark so early oh i did get a couple of things let me move that um which i wanted to share with you from the mns teddy bear range the mns spencer the bear range this christmas i mean i liked it last christmas got a mug but this christmas the amount of cozy goodness that they have brought out in this range so i got the um, Sherpa fleece throw. I thought this would be, I love these kind of things at Christmas. We've got obviously the chair that I've just put the other throw on. We've got the dog bed. We've got spare beds that we can dress up with throws. We've got the sofa in the other room. I feel like there's every excuse to be able to get one of these. So this is $17.50, really nice and soft. I know M&S things are a little bit pricier, but it's Christmas. You gotta treat yourself. These are gonna be my Christmas PJs. 
I've tried them all on. I did a little kind of try on reel you may have seen and I'll leave these linked as well. But um, yeah, these are my favorite pair. They're the most comfortable and they're like a charcoal kind of dark or off black kind of color with the teddy bear on the top there. These I got in a, I think I've got both in a 12, medium, sorry, 22 pounds for this set. And then the, I feel like the one that everyone wanted to get their hands on and it couldn't because they sold out. Hopefully they're back in stock or hopefully you can go to a store that has them in stock. But these teddy bear PJs, I'm gutted because, and I feel like a lot of with, people are with me on this, they have the whole family matching range of this set of PJs, um, of which beautiful, right? Teddy bears, cozy, beige pockets, love these. But the matching top to this, in the kids is matching but in the adults is this like a teddy one which is nice but for me i prefer the kids version which is like a matching shirt style pajama top to that and then this is just one size fits all but it's pretty big on me it's long as well it's like one of these blanket hoodies but unlike any other blanket hoodie i've had before, so I'm getting pins and needles in my feet. Oh, this one is super long. It comes really far down my legs. And again, it's got the teddy bear on. It's just so cozy. The perfect, like, neutral color as well. And let's face it, the fact that it's not super Christmassy justifies being able to wear it all year round. I also, whilst I was in MS, got some other goodies. So I thought I would share them with you. I actually got a bag full. Uh, so, Again, from Spence the Bear range, we got a little teddy bear toy for Barney. This does squeak as well. This one was eight pounds. Yet to go on the tree, again, because of the red thread and the nature of this bauble. I feel like this is gonna be, oh, it smells nice. It smells of what's in there. Um, it's going to be on the tree in the kitchen, this one. I've got loads of kind of like felt toys and cozy toys and stuff like that, but not toys, baubles. Spencer Bear hanging decoration, six pounds that one is. And then we've got some iced fruit cake. I'm gonna save these for Christmas. These always have really good shelf lives on them. Best before 4th of Jan, so yeah, it's good until my birthday. And then I also got, um, oh, I forgot I got these, luxury gift tags to match the wrapping paper that I've bought in this pattern as well. I also picked up this, what I can smell. This smells so good, so tea lights. So we've got one that I can pop in that tea light holder in the little house and I still want to find some more houses down in the storage room but these are mandarin clove and cinnamon and they smell amazing. Love, love, love. Oh, I also got the oil version. Some more snacks, some festive mini Colin faces. Little bubbly Santa. These are just like a little arrow and perfect for like just with a coffee one afternoon. So grab that. They've also got these, which I thought for a little hot chocolate station. I ate a gingerbread mug hangers so it actually hangs on the edge of your mug this isn't festive but a hazelnut cream whenever i try and find this it never seems to be in stock so i decided to get some when i saw this and i'm thinking some baking go to a place in wilms i call buzzy bee bakery which do brookies so they're brownies wrapped in a cookie and they have like a, a dollop of this in the kinder ones so tom always says when we get Buzzy Bee's Bakery, dollop of that on top, and a scoop of ice cream for like the ultimate treat. Um, I did also get a Spencer Bear, these little hollow chocolate bears. So cute, good little gift idea, stocking full of gift idea. As are these, which I've never tried before. Don't know if I like them, have no idea what they taste like, but they are whole chestnuts cooked and ready to eat. Sweet, smooth and creamy, fine roasted chestnuts from Italy, perfect with sprouts, stuffings, risottos, and desserts. That's a good idea, actually. I might show this to Tom, because he's doing the majority of the cooking for Christmas Day, and see if he wants to do something with this for, um, with sprouts or the stuffing, maybe, or on Christmas Day. So that's my little M&S haul. I did also, uh, a while ago, go to a store opening at uh, it's towards Lytham. We went and did a beach walk at Lytham on route. Went via Pet Hamper. I've worked with Pet Hamper before, you may have seen. And they do, again, lovely gifting for uh, your little fair babies. And it is Barney's birthday in between. In fact, by the time you're watching this video, it's in a couple of days' time. So, yeah, we need to get him some birthday prezzies, but probably get him some, some treats cook him a steak for dinner, something like that. But I have got him a little festive 
hamper of goodies for Christmas. So she's got these little squeaker reindeers. I won't squeak it. Um, a little festive poo bags as well. These, Barney really liked the um, Halloween edition that they did. So I picked up some more of the festive one, the gingerbread. And then these are fab as well. He loved these. Uh, he was very kindly getting these when we were actually in the store and they are turkey cranberry little like sausages. So yeah, he loved them. And then lastly, some fourth glade treats. Again, turkey with cranberry, super festive and good for in his stocking. <laughs> Because yes, I am that dog mom. Okay. Okay. If you've made it to this point in the video, I have a very exciting giveaway that I'm going to do for one of these Ruko drones with the cameras on, which I have one myself and they have just offered for me to send one of you guys one. So um, a little giveaway within this video just to thank each and every one of you for your continued support on my channel. I will leave this one linked below if you wanted to read up more about this one. If you want to be in the chance for winning one of these, all you need to do is be subscribed to this channel. Follow my Instagram, both my Instagram, Freya Frankton one and my homeware account, Freya Frankton Home. Just comment in the comment section below and just say that you want to win one of these and also don't forget to leave your Instagram handle just so that I can check that you're following and also so that I can reach out to you if you are the chosen winner. So best of luck guys. I'll pick a winner probably in about a week's time and just get your address from you to be able to send off to the company for them to send you a drone but you will have it in time for Christmas. So be sure to enter if you want to be in with the chance of winning one of these, maybe to gift to someone or keep for yourself for this Christmas. Yeah, I thought I would just mention that here at this point in today's video. Subscribe, follow my two Instagram accounts, comment in the comments below that you want to win it along with your Instagram handle and I will hopefully choose you as the winner very, very soon. So there we have it guys, just jumping on here to finish off today's video. Hope you guys have enjoyed spending the day with me decorating for Christmas again more Christmas decorations probably will be making an appearance over the next couple of weeks but yeah hope you guys have enjoyed today's video I also wanted to thank Emma again for very kindly working with me on today's video I will leave a link to them down below in the description box along with my discount code Freya Farrington BF where you can get an additional 5% off their already amazing Black Friday sale prices. So if you've been wanting to get your hands on any of their products, now is the time to do so. Thank you again to them for very kindly working with me on today's video. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. I hope you all have a lovely rest of your day and I hope to see you all very, very soon in my next video. Bye guys.